Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, this is a video for those that are on Windows 8.1. Microsoft is going to start uh, sending the uh, NAG screen that will tell you that uh, Windows 8.1 end of support is getting closer. In fact, the January uh, patch Tuesday security updates will be the last updates Windows 8.1 will get. It is end of the line for Windows 8.1. So you've got to start thinking about what you're going to do. You've got six months, a little more than six months left. What can you do about this? Now, of course, several options will appear to you. Um, Windows 8.1 might be on a very old PC that you're already thinking of changing. Then that is, of course, the option that you might have. The PC you have might still be pretty good. And you're thinking, well, what can I do to... Um, move forward from here well microsoft in its statement said that there's no free upgrade path to windows uh, to another windows from windows 8.1 and it's not entirely true windows 8.1 still can use a loophole that was never never closed and you can get a free upgrade to windows 10. it to the last latest news that i have it still works you can still go to windows 10 for free using the uh, upgrade pad from windows uh, 8.1 to windows 10. now to get windows 10 you have to go on this page this is the page where you'll get windows 10. you'll have the option to click the update now button and with a little, little bit of luck that update now button will actually download and install windows 10 to your pc you'll be activated and you'll be fine and you're going to continue using your PC for possibly many years until at least 2025 when uh, Windows 10 is end of support. Now you can also download and create with the media creation tool a USB thumb drive to boot and install, clean install. Your Windows 8.1 product key usually will work when it asks for a product key and will let you continue the install. Also, a lot of Windows 8.1 machines have embedded the key within the hardware, which means Windows 10, if you clean install, might already see it and know that it can actually go to the upgrade path. Now, there will be a subset of users that this might not work, especially if the um, machine is an OEM, a original equipment manufacturer machine, which is a lot of PCs, sometimes that upgrade pad might not work. Then the option you'll have is to either purchase a license key for Windows 10 or uh, Windows 11. The good news is that for a lot of people, this will probably work and you'll be able to move on to Windows 10 for free. What about Windows 11? Um, if you have a Windows 8.1 machine, I don't think you have any machine that is compatible with Windows 11. Uh, Windows 11 is not going to work um, on, it will work, I mean, you you know, if you use the, the uh, image and install it un, unsupported, it probably will work, but it won't be supported, it will be an unsupported machine, so you're better off just going to Windows 10, and that will give you a few years more until December of 2025. From there, well, then you can actually see what you're going to do. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and the link to this page is in the description below the video.